Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect up your PlayStation 3 controller to your Linux machine using a wire or wireless which is the Bluetooth mode so you can use the, um, the RPCS3 emulator which is a PlayStation 3 emulator so you get the ultimate most genuine experience possible okay so I'm going to show you the controller right now it's a modded one but that's just purely aesthetic and um, we've got this controller, it could be the DualShock or it could be just the 6 axis only like the older ones, that's fine. And you'll need one of these cables. So even, so, so this is a mini USB cable that you use for charging. Okay, I'm not even focusing yet. There we go. So even if you plan on only using the controller via Bluetooth wirelessly, you still need one of these because you can't actually put this into pairing mode without a cable. So a little bit of a nuisance, I know, but what are you going to do? Okay, so what you want to do, go to your emulator, go to pads, and go to DualShock 3, and you need a little bit of setup that's required. So go to this wiki, and let's paste that in there. Is that fine clicking it for some reason? It doesn't work for me. If it works for you, great. If somebody's it's not working for me, you're going to go to the using dual shock free controller but you want to scroll down <coughs> and you want to go to the linux section this right here so what you need to do is add these udev rules so these dictate how you'll be connected over usb or bluetooth and what you want to do is go to files go to other locations you basically want to go to the root of your hard drive go to etc you want to go to the next one is you dev there we go go to rules.d and in here you want to create a file called 99-ds3-controllers.rules which is the name right there i'm going to delete this and show you what you need to do but before you can actually create and modify stuff you will need to change the permissions of this folder to do that go to open up a new terminal i've already got one open that's hence why i'm doing a new one Type in ch actually before that you want to put sudo chmod777 and then just drag this on. Like so, you ask you for your password. This is just what you use to log in on your Linux um, you know, account. So type it in, even though nothing's appearing, it is still being typed. That's just for security. And that's it. That will allow us to edit this folder and you know, create stuff in there. So just grab any of the you know existing files, so like this one for example, one of these should already be there like that, and just copy and paste it. And what you want to do now is just copy this name, all of it, not part of it. Go to the folder, you know, hit rename, I'll just do the F2 shortcut, and there we go. So if there's nothing in here, there should be, but if there isn't, feel free to open up, you know, a text editor, navigate to this directory and then save a file into it. Open this file now. If, you know, you did the duplicate method, you will have some stuff in there. So delete that and copy and paste these few lines in there. Go to your text editor, paste, save, and that's that done. The next day is to basically put this into effect. You can either restart your computer I'll probably recommend that one, but you can also do it using this command. Uh, so if we copy that, go to not this terminal because that's the one I'm using for RPCS3. New terminal, literally paste that in there. You're asking for your password. It may not if you hadn't closed the terminal down from previously using this command. And now that's done. So what you want to do is replug in your controller as it's not connected, it's all good. And now we're all good to go to, you know, plug in the cable. One second, I need a bit of because my, my throat's a bit dry. <laughs> Plus my throat's not well in general. Okay, so let's close this down. And let me show you this working. So if I plug this in. Not the wrong way. Is that the wrong way? No, the wrong way. Like so, this will start flashing. And if I go to like DualShock 4, then I go to DualShock 3. As you can see, it hangs, or if you click refresh, it hangs. So what you want to do is press this button, and there we go. That connects it. The 
LEDs go away, but that's how you use it. So there we go. Refresh is fine. But if you click, let me show you again. Don't let me plug it in. So, uh, oh yeah, because I've already connected it on here before. But if I hadn't clicked, ref if I clicked refresh without pressing this PlayStation button, it would actually, you know, just hang. But that's fine. As you can see, you know, it's triggering this on the threshold and the analog sticks down here are being used as well you, there's no large vibration it's only small vibrations so if you want to you know turn that off feel free to and the other thing is if you want to add a profile this is pretty cool you could add a profile for different game maybe and you know change the order of your controls automatically it should be mapped correctly maybe you want to map the analog sticks onto the you know the d-pad onto the analog sticks or vice versa for specific games Feel free to change the device class to if it's you know for the DJ Hero, Guitar Hero, for example. And if you want to change a control, maybe I want this to be circle. You press it, press the button, and there we go. I want to go back to restore defaults. Okay, the last thing I want to do is show you how to connect this via Bluetooth. So you want to get to this stage, then you want to go to your Bluetooth settings wherever they are on the distro and version that you are using. And what you want to do from here. Exactly. Unplug this. Plug it in. This will pop up. Click allow. And as you can see, it's connected. It may not say connected until you disconnect the cable, but then it will connect. And there we go. So if I go back to this, uh, it's not appearing. Let me press the PlayStation button. So let me just close this down and reopen it. Hmm. What is this strange need? So let me remove the voice. Okay, allow. Okay, it's disconnected. Just press this and disconnect this will connect to it there we go now let's have a look there we go for some reason didn't trigger it the first time but it has now but the led does disappear again this is a little caveat as you can see this is working fine that's how you connect up your dualshock free controller using a cable or using the wireless mode and you'll need bluetooth for that onto your linux machine let me just quickly show you it working i'll launch on minecraft and then we should be good to go Maximize this. Is it working? Ah, no. Uh, I think I made a mistake. I think I know what the mistake is. If you go to pads, yeah. Well, once you got your pad selected, you gotta make sure you click save. If you do not, it will not work. My little bad. There we go. I'm sure you didn't make that mistake log. I did, stupidly did, yeah. <laughs> this controller definitely needs a clean look at that. Just awful. Probably got the coronavirus in there. Probably where it originated from this controller. I must be immune to it. So there we go, as you can see it is working, jump, let's do a bit of mining, and pause. That made me pause for some reason. That's strange. There we go. I don't know what let me pause. I think I have to just do a few things before that. But that's it. That is how you connect up your PS3 controller to your Linux machine. So you can use it on the RPCS3 emulator. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.